we're going to go through how Docker works and basically just going to set up a simple Joomla installation. I'm going to use Docker Compose to do this basically because it's a handy tool to kind of rebuild environments. So I'm going to start, I'm going to create a blank folder. Um, let's keep this simple. Within that, I'm going to create a, um, a single file called docker compose.yml or YAML as it's commonly referred. Um, and in here, I'm going to need two containers. So the first one is going to be the, the main Joomla container. So I'm going to give it a name. And we're going to have it restart whenever the system does, just in case there's a power cut or something like that. We can use the base image, uh, the official Joomla image. Um, we're going to expose port 8080. Oops, sorry, port. And it's going to point to port 80 of the container. We can add some volumes here, just for persistent storage. It's good for backup. I'm going to put that in the root, or in this folder, and we want it to map to var www.html on the actual container itself. We're also going to link to the database server. So what I'll do is just link. I obviously haven't created this one yet, so we'll do that next. Um, Joomla DB, we'll call it MySQL. So then the Joomla DB, that needs to match. And here we're going to have a container name as well. Again, restart always. Merge is actually going to be my SQL, and I think I'm going to use 5.6 for this one. Environmental variables. The environmental variables. It's only one that we need. Very secret password there. Obviously, you would have a uh, much more secure password. And again, I'm going to do a static or uh, persistent volume. This time of the database server folder. Okay, I'm going to write that. So, there in that folder, we've just got that one file. And I'm going to do docker compose up slash or oh, dash d. Okay, so that's downloaded all of the file system layers extracted them and then started a container based on those and we can see if we do docker compose ps there's our two containers up and running so you've got the my Joomla application running apache 2 it's up it's sharing port 8080 to the internet pointing that to port 80 on the container itself then you've got the Joomla database server which is running mysql d and it's exposing port 336 but only locally to the docker network so in other words this container can see it but the internet can't whereas this one is sharing port 8080 to the world um, now what i'll do is i'll go to that site just grab it and remind myself of the ip address uh, da, 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 da. 
30, 40. There we get the installation, so test site. that core detail. This one's going to be my sequel because we called it that in the docker compose file. I can't remember the password I set so I'm just going to check that. My secret password. Very secret. Database is Joomla. It generates a table prefix for you randomly. And I'm going to shove in some sample data. And install. So here you have then your Joomla website up and running. Sign into that. And manage it as normal.